Hey guys, Wargamer here, are here, and today I'm going to be playing Destiny on the PlayStation. We're going to be doing a little bit of Crucible just to rumble it up and kind of show off the main points of Destiny. So, as we get started, I'll kind of explain some things for those of you that are new to the game. This is going to be your main uh, HUD setup menu when you play through it. So you have three subclasses, these are for grenades, melees, special stuff, just kind of like your... Uh, characters, special abilities. So there's Void Walker for a Warlock. Kind of means I can like throw magical stuff. Stormcaller, Lightning. Harness Lightning. It, a lot of fun. Sun Singer. Pretty much catch yourself on fire if you die and throw grenades like crazy. It, it's a uh, different subclass. We're just going to be going with the basic one they get right away. You have primary weapons and I'm going to be using a scout rifle you have your special weapons, I'm going to be using a shotgun and you have your heavy weapon and I'm going to be using a machine gun as of new with Tekken King, special ghost shells and then you got all this armor and artifacts and bonds, bonds just kind of show off stuff on your arm for a warlock artifacts are just kind of give you a little extra perk with your melees or grenades most of this in the menu is just customizable stuff kind of show off your own personality. Some of it is actually going to affect the main gameplay. Most of the stuff that affects main gameplay is right here up in front. And a couple of the other stuff that's more just your equipment that you don't use as much as down below. So the way Crucible works is it's going to be in this game mode 7 versus 7 enemies. Try and take advantage of control points and keep them held. So I'm going to have to try to uh, find enemy players and take them out as quickly as possible and keep the control points safe and in my team's possession. There is Alpha Team and there's Bravo Team. We'll see which one I get on. Hoping for Alpha. And Crucible, it's difficult for some players. Others, it's uh, very easy. No matter what, it's always a new experience because you got online interactions, all sorts of people using different strategies. I like Scout Rifle and Shotgun and Machine Gun. Those are kind of my favorite loadouts. Sometimes I'll go and grab a uh, sniper rifle for my primary. Just to specify for new players, this is the only sniper rifle you can get as a primary in the game. All the rest are going to be in your special slot. This is not your normal shotgun in the game, if you guys see this during the gameplay. This thing is really different. It shoots five rounds at once in little pulses. Most shotguns just shoot a large buckshot, a whole bunch of uh, little bullets rubbed around, more normal gun. Typically waiting doesn't last this long, but because I decided to choose a certain one that's not going to be being played as much, but control's a really good one to get started off with. So I might have to wait a little longer, as soon as somebody else hops in here or a, a game lets out, we'll be uh, all set. So we'll go over to inventory to show off another little part of the game. So this is Glimmer, it's the main money it's going to be your currency a lot of a lot of things will earn this just killing enemies will get you this I actually have a uh, cloak over here that every single time I pick up ammo for primary I actually get glimmer so it is just really er easy to earn this stuff which is also why things cost so much glimmer in most cases to be able to buy them some things might even cost up to 15, 20,000. Now, you also have ammo synthesis. So let's say I'm out of ammo during some activity. I can get it right back. So we're on short of time. Mad Mons Venus finally getting into the gameplay. Sorry about all the boring stuff at the beginning. Waiting times can be a little long in this game. Just gonna hop in and get ready. So, this is an interesting map. We have like three main strong points. If I had a sniper, I'd not be playing passive. There's a certain spot here that a lot of people play passive. I tried it the other day. I hated it. It was the most boring thing in my life. I actually got a really neat snipe, but in the end, I did not get that great of a uh, help to my team. Time to fight, which is why I never capture all passive. zones. Just for you guys that may be playing this game, that is the main spot where people with the snipe rifle to sit and play passive. It is right there. I got a small one right now. So, here's our first control point. Enemy As we captured see a little flag here, a. but Zone it's not C. deployed yet. We're going to put ours up. Let's 
see. Yeah, I'm sure it'd be an enemy here. Let's make sure there's no snipers. You captured zone B. Got an assisted kill. Gains the okay, lead. Right the corner here. Lost the lead. Zone C lost. Enemy captured zone C. Oh, I hit. Should have just played more aggressive there. Alright, a good thing though, because it looked like he was crouching, maybe had a sniper or a shotgun. Here is one of their control points. Let's hop in here and take it from them. There would be a whole bunch of enemies I'm trying to hop on down and brawl, but I got a little bit of cover here in case I need it. I got a teammate to help me zone out. Zone B lost. Don't see anybody. You neutralized here. zone A. You guys notice up in Enemy the left, zone top left corner is a motion tracker. This way I can you see incoming enemies A. in the nearby area. Looks like most of them are over at C and some other places. This is a futuristic sci-fi game. And it does not mainly focus on PvP. This is just one of the uh, things you can play. In my opinion, it's one of the most balanced PvPs I've ever done. Zone C neutralized. Very good weapon Zone here. B neutralized. Got it from a PvP activity called Iron Banner Special. It only comes every now and then. Zone B secure. Zone A lost. Yeah, they got, lost. got this area open. Enemy captured zone A. <laughs> Merciless five kill streak. Doing pretty good right now. Uh, top of the team. Zone C captured. And Zone B Patrick. lost. And got killed. That was a super attack there. He was invisible, jumped in the air, and caught me with a bow. I should have. I already used my super. That was me when I threw the big magical orb. Enemy captured Zone B. Okay, this guy. Whoa, uh oh. That's You're bad. falling behind. Zone C. I got one guy. When I'm tethered like that, I take a lot more damage and I can't move. I could have tried to get out Enemy of the tether by uh, shooting the object Enemy which was tethering me all zones. to that location, but it wastes rounds, zone a and the enemies usually pick you off while you're doing that. So let's do a good jump here with our boosters. Zone A secure. Dang it! What happened there? Almost got current. Yep, two guys at once. They definitely are going to get control of. That. Not taking it right now. Zone A lost. Zone C neutralized. Zone C secure. Enemy captured zone A. Kinda back up there a little bit. A lot of enemies over on that side coming our way. Some of them cloaked. Heavy ammo Grenades. inbound. Big nuisance in the game. Zone C lost. Not did didn't do any damage. Zone A neutralized. Some heavy enemy captured there. zone C. Zone A secure. Heavy ammo uh, available. Probably be all gone. I'd like to. No, it's all gone. Dang it. Really wanted to show heavy. Whether be another pickup there come up. Here. My poor guy didn't stand a chance. Enemy. I was squatting there and uh, my teammate got the rock launch. Yeah. Yeah, he ran out of heavy rounds. 
you typically get three of the rocket launcher, which is why I waited until three were fired. Got him low until he used a super. Let's see if we get one here. Should be getting pretty close. And, yep, there it is. We are losing, my team is, by a good amount, actually. My super. Took him out. Just keep running. Never stop. Otherwise, we'll get killed. And got an assist. Just getting out that shotgun. Hoping for the best. But There. And missed quite a bit. He got iron reefed out. That's a good sidearm. This is Only a little different shotgun left. than the normal ones I use, but it works pretty well. It fires five rounds off. We get all five to hit. They're dead. Doesn't have much of a chance. You neutralize zone B. Two for one. Oh, we gotta jump off there and get to safety. Took out two guys, double down, still top of the team. But we're still losing by quite a large Enemy captured zone portion. B. Let's see if we can change this game out. It's hard though at this point. People we'll have supers here pretty soon. Zone A go. lost. Looks like we got taken out. I'm going to go for it, actually. Yeah. Enemy captured. Zone A. They've got them all, Guardians. Neutralized. Melee. I don't know how it's pronounced. I'm gonna pronounce it melee for now. Well, until I learn differently. Zone B secure. And got another kills there. And now I'm in second, not far behind another person. Let's see if I can get yeah, another kill on this. Right now I'm I'm not getting around, I don't know, 25, Zone A Scout rifle versus auto rifle, I have to get all headshots in order for me secure. to get, uh, kill him in time. At a farther range, however, it's not nearly as accurate and not nearly as effective, and I have a better chance of beating him. Zone B, lost. Enemy captured Zone B. And there I go. There is like four or five of them right now sitting over in that area. There was not much of a Zone chance C, for myself to be able to get out of there. So. Zone C, secure. And I was behind it. There's a little bit of lag on Destiny servers, which is the main explanation. As I said, get 